Welcome to another Math or Man episode. Today, we're gonna apply what you learned about adding and subtracting polynomials into these four perimeter questions right around me. Remember, perimeter just means if you got a shape, add up all the sides. And if there is a specific question you wanna jump to, hit that description button below and maybe pause the video, and then you can jump to whatever question you need help with. Or you could just watch all of them. Let's go. First question is about a square. It says, find the length of the side of the square if the perimeter, so they give you the perimeter, is 44x to the third plus 36y. First we got a square, and you know in a square that all the sides are congruent. So let's just label that all s to represent sides. And to find the perimeter of a square, we just add up all the sides. So that's just gonna be s plus s plus s plus s or we can simplify that and say that the perimeter of a square is 4s now let's go back to that word problem and see what we're given it says right here that the perimeter is 44x to the third plus 36y i'm gonna write that right under here and what are we trying to find out it says find the length of the side and I got an equation right at the bottom. It says 4s equals the given perimeter, and the goal here is to solve for s. Believe it or not, this is just a one-step equation, and to get s by itself, all we have to do is divide by 4 on both sides. Now I got s equals, and I can split this up. We can rewrite this just like this from what you learned about dividing polynomials. 44x to the third over 4 plus 36y over 4. And the last part, we just got to simplify that and we got our side length. 44 over 4 is just 11x to the third plus 36 over 4 is 9y. Each one of these side lengths is going to be 11x to the third plus 9y. You can even check if you add four of those up you will get the same perimeter given in the word problem. To find the perimeter of a triangle, we're just going to add up all the sides. Let me read the word problem. It says the perimeter of the triangle below. Once again, we are given a perimeter. We're given 12x minus 7 as my perimeter. Find the length of the missing side. Our goal is to find that third one. And we just have to add up the side lengths for 1, 2, and 3, which represents the three sides of the triangle, and that's the perimeter for a triangle. We're given the perimeter, so I can write that below. I know that per my perimeter is 12x minus 7, and we're also given number 1 and 2. It's right here, the two sides. x minus 8 for my first side lengths, and I'm adding it to 8x plus 4. We don't have the third side length. Let's label that S. We don't have that. And let's clean this up a little bit by simplifying. Combine like terms first. X plus 8X is 9X. Negative 8 and a 4 is negative 4. Plus S equals 12X minus 7. And now all we have to do is solve for s. You can start doing two things at the same time if you want to. If I want to get rid of that 9x, subtract 9x to both sides. And if I want to get rid of that 4, add a 4. And if I do that, you can see these are going to cancel. I'm left with s, which is the missing side length. And I just got to combine like terms on the other side. 12 minus 9 is 3x. And negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. So the missing side length in this mystery is 3x minus 3. One more practice and then we'll, we'll try one on your own. So let me read this. NASA engineers are designing a mirror to attach to a satellite. The mirror will be the shape of a polygon with four sides. So they got this crazy mirror trying to go to space. Um, it doesn't say it's a rectangle or square, so we'll just make a four-sided polygon. The lengths of three of the sides. So we're given three lengths. 2x plus 5, 6x minus 7. Doesn't matter what order you do this in. x minus 4, 
and we are missing one of them and once again they give you a perimeter the perimeter of the mirror must be 12x plus 12. in order to find the perimeter of a polygon i just have to add up all the sides so let's call this one two three and the missing one four the perimeter is just adding up one two three and four my first side is 2x plus 5, second side is 6x minus 7, my third side is x minus 4, and we don't have the fourth one. Let's call that S once again. We are given the perimeter, and it says the perimeter here is 12x plus 12. Combine like terms and solve for S, let's do that. 2x plus 6x plus x is 9x and positive 5 negative 7 and negative 4 is just negative 6 plus s equals my given perimeter 12x plus 12 get s by itself do two things at the same time and i think you know where this is going now pretty similar problems s equals 3x plus 18 that is the length of the fourth side all right, for this one, you are on your own. Pause the video, read the problem, draw it on a piece of paper, and when you're done, the answer will be explained to you. I just wanna make sure you're not memorizing stuff, so make sure you read this carefully. All right, I tried to trick you with this one. This one, all you had to do was add up the sides because it says in the question, what is the perimeter? The perimeter is missing, so in this problem, you had to add up the sides, one, two, and three. I like to organize it like this sometimes where I add up and down. It's a lot easier to add vertically. Once you add up all the sides and combine like terms, you end up getting this answer. And hopefully we had matching answers. This helped. Throw a like and a subscribe. Let me know what other math you need help with. And I'll see you on the next episode.